Hello, uh, I am Shoham Gangobadhan, uh, MSc Chemistry. I am original from Kolkata. Uh, I came to Hyderabad in 2014. Since then, I have been seeing a lot of model policing and a lot of things which are not at all conducive to a student friendly atmosphere over here. The kiss of love demonstrations, the vandalism showed by AVVP and BJYM, everything we have seen. We have seen how people who were like showing their demonstration for their, they were against hanging of people, they are against capital punishment and they are being branded as anti-nationals. I myself have said over a million times through social media and everywhere that I do not relate to a concept of a nation, the boundaries. I have never been that national. If you regard me as an anti-national, that I am happy to be that. Rohit died. It could have been me, it could have been anyone. He was a Dalit. He was reduced to his immediate identity. I will fight for that. I will fight till my very end. The movement actually slowed down a bit because we had various problems. We could not communicate very well with each other. And since there, there is a, something we have, classes, labs, everything, we could not participate. But since when it resurfaced, when Appa Rao came, and actually I know Periya Sami sir very well. I am his direct student in his lab. Periya Sami sir was doing the best for this university. He had tried to increase non-net fellowship to 25,000. Like implement SCST reservations in various decision making bodies inside the campus. So that we can have fair judgment among students and greater relation buildings with our teachers. Now when after class during the class, I was checking my Facebook and saw Appada will be coming. So it's my moral duty to go there as part of a student. I am not from any organization over here. I am a general student. I'll carry on my movement. And so I went there. I saw broken glasses everywhere. And people are like agitating because they are not being able to see the VC. So people mainly from life sciences, faculty, students, non-teaching staff. Everyone is almost inside the room. And when we asked the police to also let us in politely, in a democratic manner, to sir, this is discrimination. We we also we are also students. We are ID card holders. We are not trespassing. Please let us in. They are like no. And these things progressed. We were doing holding out protests in a democratic manner. We saw the press release. We talked about that. In a, we interpreted that. We showed how many loopholes are there. And after that. We, some of us went outside and again when we were coming back we are not being able to we are not uh, let inside the premises of the VC Lodge and again when after they had given the final warning when we students actually tried to gather and tried to fight back by just sitting there the police came in and just passed in some women were there they molested all the women they tried to throw lattes there four of us f five of us clinging to each other take four four police people coming in grabbing my my glasses tearing all my shirts and everything my slippers were gone my feet it had like everything glass pieces thorns everything was stuck inside when we were said when we were outside the gate they were like slapped me and Amu, Amu fell down on my shoulder. Everything sort of chaos happened and the police started lati charging us. And after that, yes, some of the crowd got a little nervous. Some of the crowd got angry. Some of them, yes, indeed pelted stones, but they, they did not do it at first. It was just a repurgation of how the police had actually oppressed us. They had beaten me over here. Everything I had like this this much swollen over over my arm here and again I had to take saline drips tomorrow for five hours yesterday for five hours and after that I came back to the hostel I am on painkillers and sedatives from yesterday and conditions of students are also worse some of them had he have head injuries some of them have internal bleeding we don't have food electricity is being cut off at any time no internet for two two consecutive days we are being blocked off communication in every sort of way please people help us 
Hyderabad students need every people from India and outside to show us that we need support. We students are literally surviving on just every limited resources we have here. We can't chant slogans, we can't gather for a long time in the shop com. They, they are like picking people of 33 students have been taken and no one knows where they are till now. No one knows. People have, my seniors have gone to the police stations. They are like saying, oh, your friends, right? Oh, they are the Pakistanis. You are Pakistani. Let's also send you to Pakistan. These things are happening. We are getting this moral treatment from the police. Please understand us, we are not anti-nationals, we are as national as you are, but we also have our way to fight. We know our justice as well. We demand justice in a democratic manner and we believe in our constitution and we will fight to get it. And we will take it.